so my name is Haley Lamont. I am from Hot Springs, South Dakota, and my majors are Studio Art and Communication, Media, and Rhetoric. So my mediums are sculpture is my major medium and photography is my minor medium. However, this year I got started in ceramics um, just because I needed to take another art class and I thought it'd be fun. And I really found um, my place there. You know, it's, I'm going at it in sort of a sculptural sense. I started taking photographs. That's where I started uh, doing it for 4-H, for competitions when I was, I mean, beginning in 4-H, so eight years old. Um, I was like, that's something that I want to do. Uh, then I was doing art in high school, and that was something that I was interested in. Um, but like coming to Morris, I didn't actually start out in the art major. I didn't start that until my sophomore year. Um, and originally, I was just planning on doing photography to supplement my communication degree because um, I was very interested in photojournalism. Um, but then I took like the basic studio classes, and I really fell in love with sculpture because it was very similar to the sort of things that I had done before, uh, working on my family's ranch, uh, using like the same type of tools and like the same uh, methods of doing things. What I really like about photography um, artistically is that you can sort of tell more than just like documenting. Um, so that's really where I started was doing like events photography, you know, you're documenting things. The photography that I do for like my art major is quite a bit different than the photography that I do for my communications job. Um, because when I am doing it for art, I'm really thinking of like the artistic elements and principles. In the past two years, I've really gotten into architecture photography um, and have been doing more of that. And I've started now leaning more towards abstract photography. So taking the elements of architecture and abstracting them and seeing you know, what sort of information that gives about the building and about you know, just other things about the elements and principles of art. Like just recently, um, I had gone home for fall break and I took a bunch of pictures of like these sort of like old buildings around like my family's ranch. And then I came back and I developed them and I was getting everything ready for um, a critique. And I was like, whoa, everything is sort of becoming abstracted. I had like this one photo of, it was like the inside of a building. I had it out on the table, I was gonna pin it up. And I was like, what if I turn this upside down? And it just, it completely changed everything. It wasn't, it wasn't planned, but I just went to grab it and I was like, wow, that is, that's a, a different piece of art. Like this is completely new art than it was before. I do what I do because it's fun. That's really where it all comes from. I always look forward to spending time in the studio and I spend hours upon hours in the studio doing things. I do sculpture, I mostly do uh, wood because I, like, um, I like working with wood and I like to keep things like pretty natural. So um, a lot of like the textures and stuff that I create, it's like a natural, more like rustic sort of wood um, appearance. I don't paint um, anything, I just use like stains and oils so that you can like still see like the wood grain. Like when I use metal, um, I put different uh, oils, patinas and stuff on it to make it sort of like rusty looking or like rustic learning looking and it all sort of goes back to my experience um, living in like a rural area on a ranch. Um, so like those sort of looks, you know, most ranches or farms or whatever, they have buildings that are sort of like looking a little bit worse for the wear, but like it still functions really well. And so that's kind of the uh, messaging that I'm trying to get through. Really what inspires me is like looking at what other people are doing, um, especially like looking at nature too. That's something I am always sort of like thinking about. I, you know, just with my phone, I will go out on walks out in the nature and just like take pictures of like things that maybe other people want it, you know, like nice macro pictures of like different like natural patterns, uh, different textures. And those are things that I sort of try to incorporate into my work, um, but really, looking at like what other people are doing. Um, so I'll see that somebody's doing this and I'm like, that's really cool. Uh, what if I did this like on top of that and then just sort of push everything farther. And so everybody has a little bit of art within them and it's not just like, it's not just painting and it's not just like sculpture or drawing or whatever it is. You know, it's like architects, that's art. Uh, designers, every, everything that you use was made by an artist. It was designed by an artist. And even like in your personal life, you know, how you arrange your house, how you choose like what throw pillows go on the bed, like that's a little bit of like an artist uh, perception. So you need to like 
look within yourself and just like see art where it is, which is everywhere. Art has like those, those little things where you think this is where you're going with your art. Um, and then something happens and then you're like, whoa, I have this whole new direction that I can go. And that's something that I uh, experience a lot because I like doing everything. I wanna do, try everything at least once. And that's you know sort of been a problem for me is like reining myself in and being like, okay, you need to stick to sort of a theme. But the best piece of advice I was ever given um, was actually by my high school art teacher. And he really had a, a profound impact on me. And what he would say almost every single day was be the best you you can be it really transferred into, into everything. So, I mean, that's sort of what I do is like every day I come into the studio and I'll look at like my old work and I'm like, okay. Cause when you're an artist, every time you look at your old work, you're like, that's not good. <laughs> you know, you find something to nitpick at. Um, and so every single day when I come in, I'm like, this is something new. This is a new day. I can do better. I can be better and I can like push myself Farther, um, of course, I'm still gonna like look back on that and be like, oh, that's like I'm gonna nitpick one detail and like that's just a little bit off, like that's not perfect. But it's always about like trying to improve and be better. Visit pioneer.org/postcards to catch up on missed episodes and to find out more about your favorite segments. Postcards is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Additional support provided by Margaret A. Cargill Philanthropy, Mark and Margaret Yakel Julie on behalf of Shalom Hill Farms, a retreat and conference center in a prairie setting near Wyndham, Minnesota, on the web at shalomhillfarm.org, Alexandria, Minnesota, a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at explorealex.com. The Lake Region Arts Council's Arts Calendar, an arts and cultural heritage funded digital calendar showcasing upcoming art events and opportunities for artists in West Central Minnesota. On the web at lrac4calendar.org.